All right. You know, we had such a wonderful experience with the last foundation test. I decided to try it again. <laughs> so if you want to see what foundation I try and how it works out, see if it was as eventful as the last one and just keep watching. my no heating tools. I don't know if I'll survive it. <laughs> so this is supposed to give me curls so when I take it down I'm supposed to have all these pretty little curls so we'll see. I don't have any lashes. I tried out a new eyeliner. I suck at it. It's the it's the little pot eyeliner and you use the brush. Hold on. I got a mess over here. You use the brush and the pot. <laughs> I suck. I suck at this. But I'm going to keep practicing. I'm going to get better. Now to the foundation. So today we are trying the Josie Moran First Cold Pressed Color. This is an Argon Oil Foundation Fluid. It only has 15 shades. Josie. So the claims on this foundation is powered by 100% pure argon oil, revolutionary cold pressed process preserves the carefully selected ingredients, feeds and energizes skin with essential nutrients, smooth, vibrant, baby skin finish with medium to full coverage. In a clinical study, after four weeks of use, 100% of subjects experienced a significant increase of skin moisture. And in a consumer study, 93% agreed vibrancy helped visibly calm their skin condition, specifically scarring, inflammation, and rosacea. Siri, is Josie Moran cruelty-free? Okay. I found this on the web for is Josie more and cruelty free. They are cruelty free. Yay, Josie. Now, if you could just produce more shades, that'd be great. Today is euphoric. I don't really understand. Understand her shade range. Oh, ah, ah. let me do my primer first. <laughs> oh, you know, the last foundation test we did was such a success. <gasps> oh, I thought, why not do another one on camera? And my skin is in total disarray. So we got the hair, we got the no lashes, we got the terrible wing liner. <sighs> Why not add a foundation test to the day? <laughs> On to the foundation. I hope this is the right color. It looks kind of yellow. It was so runny. Look how runny. I don't know about this. Oh my gosh, it comes out like water. It smells funny. I mean, that looks like I've put water on my face. Do I need to shake it? This why do I do this to myself? <laughs> I don't know why I do this to myself.
Okay, maybe it just needs to be shaken. Because that is looking a little better. It has an odd smell though. I guess that's the argon oil. I don't know. I do think this collar is a little bit yellow. But I didn't really understand her collar. There's no like N for neutral or B for beige, you know? Oh yeah, that is that is that is too yellow, so hold on. We're gonna mix. Oh my god. I'm gonna mix a little of this paler color in with it. I am glutton for punishment. Okay, that's working better. Tone down some of that yellow, sister friend. This feels really greasy. Oh. I think, and I mean, I have normal skin. Okay, it's not looking too bad. <laughs> not as bad as his hair. <laughs> oh, Jesus, help me. Uh, if you have dry skin, you would probably love this because it, it feels like I'm putting oil on my face. So, I'm not sure how this is going to wear through the day. Although, someone on Facebook the other day was asking about a good foundation for dry skin. <laughs> I think I found it. Okay. Yeah, if you have dry skin, you'll probably love this. I don't. I'm going to have normal skin. But definitely not dry. In its defense, I did just put a foundation on that has argon oil. So, you know, I am kind of glutton for punishment, I guess. panic just yet. Um, but it just, I think this is probably better suited for someone with very dry skin.
like it's just Ugh, it's making my face very greasy. And it's settling into my fine lines really bad. And honestly, it's not giving me that much coverage either. Let's try and get this set. It does give your skin a nice luminous glow. I bet someone with dry skin would love this foundation. It's already caking in. I'm not going to judge it. I'm going to finish up my face. Um, it is 1.47. Uh, I don't know if we'll be able to do a full eight hours because I usually take my makeup off about seven o'clock. But I'll check back in and I will let you guys, in about four hours, I'll let you know. Y'all pray I'm not a uh, grease ball in <laughs> four hours. I'm trying to get where the lighting is good. Is that better? <laughs> um, the foundation actually looks pretty damn good. <laughs> I thought four hours in, I would just be a grease freaking ball because it literally felt like I was putting, well, the lipstick ain't so great. <laughs> it literally felt like I was putting oil on my face, which it has argon oil in it, so I was expecting it. Look, I'm watching YouTube. <laughs> I was expecting it to get so greasy, but it's not. It actually looks pretty natural, and there's no grease. It's not. It's not really settling into any of my fine lines. So far, so good. <laughs> I will do another check-in right before I wash it off, but um, right now, I'm liking it. That was, oh, man. You know, if y'all could really see the outtakes that I always have. <laughs> you do just goofy shit when you record yourself. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you at the next check-in. Hi, my loves. <sighs> this no hair tools is going to be the death of me. <laughs> okay, final check-in on this foundation because I'm about to go wash it off. Um, it's been about, I think it's been about six or seven hours. So, overall, it looks okay. Um, it's, I don't know if you can see it. But like right here, I scratched my head, totally wiped the foundation off. I scratched my nose, totally wiped the foundation off. It is settling into my fine lines. Um, let me just show you. So, it just totally moves when you touch it at this point. Um... 
I still think it's not a bad foundation, but I think it is more suited for someone with probably drier skin. For me, I'm not oily. I mean, as you can see, six, seven hours later, I'm not oily, but I'm not dry. I fall more into that normal range. <laughs> so I think that's why it's kind of working, but kind of not. It doesn't look bad as long as I don't touch it. <laughs> so if you are a dry skin beauty, I do think this would be a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful foundation. Um, but if you're normal to oily, would totally skip it. <laughs> All right, I'm going to go take this off and uh, put a mask on because I'm afraid too much moisture might, you know, break me out. So there you have it. If you're a dry skin girl, I might have found you a foundation. <laughs>